Guys, I want to do a video today on intention. And this, this goes beyond death. This goes beyond a hundred years. And I don't want to dive into more quantum physics and psychology. This is going to be a more generalized video and I'm even going to upload it on our Facebook page because this is a very important lesson to understand. Now just kind of glancing over physics and quantum physics right, the science of energy. It's very important, very important to understand that the physical world is an illusion, right? This is all an illusion. It does not exist. When you stare at the back of somebody's head, what happens? They turn around without you even having to touch them physically, right? And it's very important to understand this because energy is all that there is when I think about somebody before I go to sleep they always message me because our thoughts right this is this is psychology 101 now or you know physics 101 now that's very mainstream that billions of people are waking up to but when your thoughts create right energy and vibration that you're in and when you start instead of being Fred the monkey you know, you let the wheels in your head spin a little bit and you actually think for yourself instead of allowing one family that uh, one criminal family that owns all the media and religion to th to do the wheel spinning for you, right? And my point though is guys that when you die, when we die, right? We now understand quantum physics that all of the plants, all of the trees, all of life, you can't see the little puppies behind me right now, but they're, they're there in the background. But all of life vibrates on 528 hertz, the miracle frequencies. And in just four years, a billion people have listened to the miracle frequency, the vibration of love. They call it the vibration of love. They put the vibration of love in oil spilled water. The very next day, sea life returned when the skeptic showed up. They tested the parts per million, and they were, they were astonished. The parts per million came back, and it, it was true. This is the power of love that vibrates in the galaxies, the stars, the rainbows, vibrates on 528 hertz. Some call it the Holy Spirit. I call it, I give it an unadulterated name, not a man-made name, but an unadulterated name. Infinite life. Life just life the vibration of love that's all it is it's not it's not a god it's not eight multiple gods it's just the vibration of love that flows through life and when we die we are the highest form of creation in life and when we die physically right may that be a hundred years for all of you you know I, I you know may that be a hundred years for all of you but when we die guys our it's just like changing clothes, right? When you, when this is very important, when you understand and love yourself from within, you know, Kobe Bryant, God bless his soul. Kobe Bryant said it perfectly. You know, later on in his life, he realized it was not about him. He had to take a look up in the inside of himself. And realized there was more to life than himself. And he started to live on the inside, a.k.a. his soul. Not these dogmatic religious or societal masks, right? Doing whatever society or your religion tells you to, a.k.a. a good deed. You, you understand and love yourself from within. And it allows you to connect to all of life. And then you start to think, right? You start to think and you let go of the physical world. To where when I die, and many other people that are awakening, when we die, it's it's just like changing my clothes. I'm like, I'm still just where I was before. I can still feel, I can still feel energy. I can still feel other souls. I can still feel people for who they really are. I can still feel myself for who I really am. And it, it, it's amazing. But this is why, like I said, now we understand this. It's intention. Intention. And I just told you. Not being nice, which is technically, you know, technically doing what society tells you to or your religion tells you to, but doing it because you, your own inner voice tells you to. <laughs> and why else would you want to force the opposite of love? 
why would you want to force? Why would you want to force and control or try to force somebody into your religion? Why would you go to a Mormon church as a Christian and attack them? That's not love. That's not love. That's not the love that the prophet Buddha preached against. That's not the love that, you're, that the prophet Jesus preached against. Holy cow. In the New Testament, New Testament, most updated version, Jesus the prophet himself said the most powerful verse above all, all other commandments, let it be known, you've, all other commandments. Love thy God. Love. Love. I have to repeat it sometimes because if it doesn't get through people's thick skulls. New Testament. Above all other, the, the voice of love. Love your God. As you do your neighbor. And people take these verses so literally. Neighbor as in a stranger. Come on guys. And I don't censor my videos. I would rather speak the truth and offend a lot of people that are living a lie. And maybe one day the, the seeds that I plant sink in a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's their decision. I'm not here to force anybody for I can feel better about myself. I'm not here trying to control anybody or force anybody. Force my dogmatic fakeness on other people for I can feel better about myself. No, no, no. You make your own decision. This is, this is coming from my heart. And like the prophet Jesus said, love your God, a.k.a. all of life, whatever you call it, right? Love all of life, the creator, as you do a complete stranger, you know, a good person, all the other good people out there, as you do yourself. And unless if you understand psychology 101, or the wheels in your head are spinning, people don't, or you understand, you know, base, the basics of physics and psychology that's very popular now in the self-help in self-help industry and in success industry especially is guys everything starts with you first everything whatever if you don't love and respect yourself of course nobody's going to love and respect you it doesn't matter how many gold watches you wear but and you know when you truly understand and love yourself this is what the prophet jesus is saying it's a very backwards Love thy God with all thy heart as you do your neighbor as you do yourself. You have to love yourself first before you love a stranger, and then you love all of life. However you... Guys, your intentions... Your intentions... Cannot fool life. Guys, I just told you... That the vibration of love. There is life vibrating. The stars, the galaxies vibrate on 528 hertz. Energy is everywhere. And if your decision is not a hundred percent, a hundred percent righteous and true from yourself, it will not align with the vibration of love, and it is dead. Dead. No lukewarm. And it's difficult. I understand. It's difficult. I was once there, or that boy was once there. It's difficult if you do not understand and truly love yourself from within. And guys, real quick, our thoughts create, right, vibration or emotion. Understanding, mental understanding, creates the vibration of love. A good vibration. Not only did they clean oil spilled water with the vibration of love, most recently in a scientific study, they, they, they vibrated the vibration of love in rice, and that rice prospered. And they put a bad vibration... And that rice was dead. Ignorance. Ignorance is all there is. Ignorance and understanding is all there is. What is ignorance up here? What is ignorance up here? Fear. A bad vibration. Doubts. Worries. This is the problems we have. This is why people don't ever 
understand or try to play games like a little teenage boy or a little teenage girl. They like to play games with people, the sleazy snake salesman, right? Oh, I wonder how much money I can make off these people. The sleazy snake salesman, right? The guy with his Lamborghinis on YouTube that has to pay millions of dollars just, just, just to get people to watch his videos. I wonder how many people I can take advantage of now. I got my Lamborghinis here. All of these insecure teenage boys. Kim Kardashian, man, all of these insecure girls. I just see pockets of money. Guys, your intention. This is scientifically, we are now adjusting to the truth of what I'm talking about. Energy is everywhere. If your intentions do not align with the vibration of love, when you physically die just physically, right? Your soul, when it connects to all of life, is going to be dead. And this is why I say it time and time again. Heaven is a place on earth. Because the physical world is an illusion. It's not some man-made heaven off in some place that people can't even explain or tell you where it is. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now where heaven is. It's all around us. The physical world is an illusion. Billions of people are waking up to this truth, discovering their true self on the inside and letting go of these dogma mass, Muslim, Christian, LDS, goth, punk, gamer. And they're actually understanding their true self from within. And then it allows them to become a real man. A real woman of life and righteousness. That's what a real man and woman is. You discover your true self. You connect to the vibration of love and you take action from here. There is no greater strength than love. The unadulterated vibration of love. And guys, your intention, your intuition, intention, intuition. All of the animals do not think like us. We have the ability to think. We have imagination, perception, intuition, free will, memory, reason, common sense, the ability to think. Animals have this. Their intuition. Their intuition, right? Intuition. And your intuition is what, just like your grandma used to say, what does your gut instincts tell you? What is your, what is, you know, like something doesn't feel right. Some, it's your, your intuition. Guys, did you know your stomach has more microbes, micro, like microbes, and more, more power, just as much processing power as your brain on a cellular level? It's just... Our intuition is what connects us vibrationally. We can feel. We're all empaths. We can feel with our intuition. Now, just like our muscles, it takes time to develop these higher faculties. It takes time to develop your intuition, right? You have to socialize a lot, be around people a lot, let it bring it up, bring it up. Your intuition connects you to all of life. And this universe has a set of laws, the 12 universal laws that since the beginning of time have been occurring 100% and has allowed it to keep evolving and growing. This is the nature of life that Albert Einstein and Aristotle studied their entire lives. And this is why when religious people say, what was Albert Einstein? They're kind of like, well, I think he was this, I think he was that. He was studying the unadulterated Life that all of love vibrates through and evolves and grows. And when you study the 12 universal laws, there is not just the law of attraction. There are 11 other laws. You know, I don't, I, I don't have time to go into that. Long story short, your intentions. You guys, people, these criminals, like Kanye West just had a file for bankruptcy. These, you, these people think they're so clever. They think they're so clever. And maybe even the Rockefellers or the left-wing propagandists, I call them, maybe they'll even make it to the grave. 
without getting busted because of the trillions of dollars and dark money they have. Your physical body's going to go away. And all of the life that you destroyed and you burned and lives that you screwed over to fill your insecurity, it's going to come right back to you. And you're not just going to fill your own pain and emptiness that you felt while you were alive trying to fill. You're going to, when your physical body is gone, you are now easily connected to all of life going out to the universe and all of earth. And you better be ready when you can fill millions, if not billions of lives that you destroyed all at once. It will fill more than fire. And you will not be able to kill yourself when you fill billions of people's pain that you created, thousands, hundreds of thousands. It will burn you and you will fucking suffer like you deserve to. The wrath of God, wrath of God, wrath of life, whatever you want to call it. Life destroys. Life does not attack first. Life is always just peacefully growing through the vibration of love. But when it does, it, there's a reason why it survived the Ice Age, Black Death, Hitler, all these other people. And by the way, you can do the research. The Rockefellers actually worked alongside the criminal Nazis during World War II, despite all the crimes that were going on. Just like, just like they were going to the Middle East to get their oil money. Just like they created coronavirus. You know, and I'll provide the facts and research all day long to all of you guys. There's, there's no talking out of my butt here. Now, intention, guys. Intention. You will not outsmart it. So people say, well, Luke, it, it's just so difficult. Where do you get your courage from? How am I going to be courageous and fight for life? Love. I just told you they put the vibration of love in oil spilled water. This is not just cancer or some corona that these guys created. This is oil. An entire ocean. Could you imagine if an entire ocean of oil filled your body? <laughs> One day the vibration of love. The unadulterated vibration of love that flows through all of the galaxies, all of plants and animals, is the most powerful force. And I fear no man. I fear no animal. That's what they deserve to be called. That's destroying humanity and life. Not even an animal. Not even that. Because I know the power of the vibration of love. This is what we're using in our YouTube videos right now. We've already cured, you know, hundreds of diseases in people's bodies using this and the vibration of love. And when you understand and love yourself on the inside, truly discover yourself, then you connect to the vibration of love. You have courage. You have self-respect and love that's true. You now want to give to humanity, give to life righteously, selflessly. And life will always, always, just like Job said, just like all the other prophets said, life will always reward you ten times. This is how I'm able to travel the world, run my nonprofit, write my books, start my applications later this year, whatever the hell I want to do. Because I know life's going to take care of me. Because I... I'm giving true value. And I'm not boasting. I'm not being egotistic. I put in the work through the vibration of love. I improved my talents. I improved my gifts. I improved my character. I took, put in the time, unlike all these Kardashians and Kanye Wests out there, I actually put in the time like a real man and like real woman can too, out of love. And in return, you gain valuable experience. You gain valuable accomplishment that is righteous. And you now have more to offer life. And life will always reward life with life. And this is why when your intentions, your intentions are pure, guys. 100% pure from here. Life will take care of you. And when you die, you will just be where you're already at. You will be on heaven. And it's a very small percentile that's growing larger every single year. Heaven, heaven is getting larger every single year. Hallelujah. And I can't wait next month when the borders open up 
to be able to start traveling the world and writing my book on the beaches, exotic beaches, writing my fantasy book, writing my other books, programming my apps. It's a very small percentile. Heaven's a beautiful place, guys. There's so much beauty to enjoy on this earth, and you deserve it. You deserve it, too. I'm making this video for free. Because I understand that if you prosper, you grow. All of life prospers. I prosper. All of my loved ones prosper. Your loved ones prosper. The more you grow, the more you grow through the vibration of love. The more you develop your 400 trillion to one unique superpowers. An Olympic gold medalist said it perfectly. There are 50,000 people that could be doing what I do but better. An Olympic gold medalist. Kobe Bryant said, I'm not going to be the next Michael Jordan. I'm going to be the next Kobe Bryant. 400 trillion to one miracle, that's what you are. And heaven is a place on earth. And when your intentions, your intentions align with this beautiful vibration of love after you discover yourself, hallelujah, you better be ready because when you die, may that be a hundred years from now, I could die tomorrow and I would be grateful because I understand that my life purpose has been fulfilled, my legacy is already here, and I will just bask in all of life with the Creator and all of the other creators and feel that legacy and feel the warmth that I already feel. I just told you where heaven is. Now we're waiting for you guys. That we're. It's all about intention, guys. And always, when you wake up in the morning, when you come up with a goal or a plan or you take action, always stop and ask yourself, where is my intention? Is this, is this out of greed? Greed or insecurity? Catholic Church. Catholic Church <laughs> that works alongside this criminal family. <laughs> they they built, built millions of dollars worth of castles and mansions last year while a million children died starving. Guys, every day wake up and question your intentions. Where, where, is this out of righteousness? Is this honoring the 400 trillion to one unique miracle you are? Is this connecting to all of life? I love all of you guys. This is the power of intention. This is the power of love. This is the power of righteousness. This, in the long run, long term, we may have to grind at first. We may have to work. You may have to work overtime. I may have to be working 100 hours a week right now and still self-improving on top of the 100 hours a week that I work as a fully independent adult. But I will tell you, I know as it con life builds and builds and builds like a tree and instead of trying to be the sleazy snake salesman trying to outsmart people because he has no value to provide, I know when he falls and his weak foundation crumbles in a couple years my tree is going to still be growing bigger and bigger this is the power of righteousness this is the power of love and it's no religious propagated love this is the unadulterated vibration of love and get your intentions straight guys always make sure your intentions are pure i love you all i love you all all of you good and righteous people out there, hugs and kisses on your cheeks.